Hey everyone, this is The Delightful Dev, and in this video I'd like to show you guys how I made the chain lightning effect from Spirit Eater. So we're going to start by making a prefab, and we're going to name that Enemy Struck. Uh, within the prefab we're going to make a script, call it the same thing, and in the script we're just going to have it destroy itself after um, 0.4 seconds. Then we're going to make a chain lightning prefab, and going to add a circle collider 2D onto that. We're going to reduce the radius of that to as low as it can go, and then we're going to create an animation. In the animation, we're going to add a key at the start, and then wherever we'd like, we're going to add another key, and we're just going to grow the radius of that uh, circle. Essentially, what it's going to be is it's going to grow, and then first enemy that it's going to hit is going to be chain lightninged. Now we're going to add a particle system to this, we're going to turn off looping, we're going to lower the start lifetime, we're going to lower the start speed to zero, uh, we're going to turn off play on awake, and then we will lower the rate over time to zero, we'll add a burst, a count of two, but you can change that later, uh, and then we'll add trails and make sure ribbons is on. You should have something that looks like this. Uh, now we're going to add the chain lightning script um, to this prefab. And here are all the variables you're going to need. We're going to have the circle collider. Uh, we're going to have a layer mask. I'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, this is going to be the damage. Then we'll have the chain lightning effect, which is what this is. Then the bin struck, which is what the prefab we made earlier. The amount to chain is how many times it'll chain. A start object and an end object. We'll look at those later. Uh, the animator and then the particle system. Then in the start method, we're going to get all the components, so the collider, uh, the animator, and the particle system. After which we can delete the update method and use on trigger enter 2D. Uh, and here we're going to check if the layer is right, and we'll go over layers in just a second. And then we're also going to check against that script we made earlier, so we're going to see if the child of the prefab of the collision has that script. And so here's what I was talking about with layers. Uh, all my enemies are on the enemy layer, and that's really important. Anyway, we're going to define the end object, which is going to be whatever we're colliding with. Then we're going to lower the amount to chain by one and instantiate the chain lightning effect on whatever we collided. Then we're also going to instantiate bin struck uh, onto the collision object. And if we write it like this, it'll instantly become a child. Here I'm just writing a line for the enemy to take damage. We're also going to stop the playback of the animator just to be safe and disable the collider. Then we're going to destroy this game object in one second, just to not clutter the hierarchy. Uh, we also need to add an if statement up here to see if the chain amount is zero or not. And then if it is, we'll just destroy this game object. Uh, there's also a private int we need to make. I'm calling it single spawn, so you can really call it whatever you want. Uh, just make sure you're equating it to one in the start method. And then right here, we're going to check if that is not equal to zero. Uh, and then we'll wrap all that in the brackets. And within here, we will also lower it by one. And we're using this so that the chain lightning doesn't spread to two enemies at once. Now it's time for the particles. So we'll do party.play. We're going to create a new variable called emit params, and we're going to equate that to a new particle system. We're going to use the start object transform position as the position for the first particle. And then with this line, we can pretty much just emit that particle on that spot. Uh, copying that, we can also emit the particle at the end position. Since our particle system is ribbon based, uh, the start position is going to make one particle and then the end position is going to make another particle and then they'll connect creating our chain lightning. And then we also need to make sure we are defining what the start object is, which of course is just this object. This is my script for when the bullet collides with an enemy. The only thing you need to pay attention here is instantiating the chain lightning effect on the enemy. I made a couple errors earlier, so the radius of 5 was a little too small, so we're going to change that to 15 and just update that key. And then 1 second is way too long for that zone to open, so we're going to lower that to 0.1 seconds. Don't forget to connect everything in the inspector. The enemy layer is enemy. The damage is whatever you want. The chain lightning effect is this own object, so you can just put that in. Bin struck is the prefab we made earlier. You can choose how many times it chains, and then the particle effects comes from this object. And do not forget to change the simulation space to world on the particle system. And this is what you should have right now. Uh, to spruce that up a little, we can use uh, this line of code, and this is just adding the start position 
and the end position together and then dividing by two so you pretty much just get like the in-between position uh, and so we'll just make another particle there uh, and then add a little bit of noise to your um, particle system and then you can change the size of the particle and the lifetime and then you can even change the material the material I'm using is from Bracky's tutorial for 2D lighting. I'll just link that in the description. And now to add that little burst of lightning every time something's hit. So just create another particle system in the chain lightning prefab. You're going to want to turn off looping. You're going to lower the start lifetime on this one. You're going to up the start speed and the start size you're going to lower. Uh, and then don't forget to make that uh, simulation space world and do not have that play on awake. We're gonna lower the emission again, and then we're gonna make it a burst of two. We're gonna add trails, and then we're gonna add noise, add a ton of noise on this one. So you should have something that looks just like a lightning bolt. In the original um, particle system, you're going to turn on sub emitters, and then just go ahead and drag that particle system in. You should be completely done. Feel free to tweak any settings in the particle systems and the scripts to get the perfect chain lightning. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more videos like it, consider subscribing.